So, basically, in after in the Treaty of World War One, it was even harsher than it was in our timeline. Li like it lost the Rhineland. Basically, it was diverted to modern Germany borders, but lost Schleswig and the Rhineland. And then it decided to come back. And this is what happened. <laughs> So, let's explain a couple things. It got quite a few allies. Ireland, Italy, Spain, sort of Turkey. Turkey wasn't officially an ally, but they funded the heck out. They sent a lot of funds. Until they actually got involved. Germany, during the fun. This is what the war looks like after the final tre peace treaty. There are a lot because there are some economic and border problems and just dissatisfaction. So basically, Germany has basically the, nearly controls the entire Pacific, controls a ton of Africa called Mitro Africa. This is the home of Germany. Big chunky boy. Big, big. Um, this is the Kingdom of Hungary, and the Kingdom, so, the Kingdom of Romania. So, let's talk about German puppet states for a second. So, you have France, Poland, especially Poland, um, the Baltic Union, Belarus, Ukraine, the Kingdom of Moscow, the rest of the settler land, um, Deutsch America. You also have Italy, which is thick, thick Italy. Big, big Italy, big Italy, big Italy. Spain, which is pretty big too. And by pretty big, I mean it's quite extensive. Um, so you have Celtic America and the Celtic Empire, which is has actually five capitals. Washington, Boston, um, what is it? Is it Dublin? No, no. Boston. New York City, um, Belfast, and the two main ones, London and Dublin. Uh -huh. Germany has the capital Berlin, of course. The Nordic Union, which is up here, actually has quite a few capitals. Um, Oslo, Stockholm, Stockholm, Helsinki, and of course, St. Petersburg. It basically has quite a bit of territory. This is the Arabic Empire, with its capital being Constantinople. Mm. No, Istanbul. Istanbul is Constantinople. Um. You also have, you also have, um, so let's see how these two people got wrecked. Um, France basically just lost a bunch of territory and had to pay a ton of its economy away to Germany. And Poland had to do the exact same thing, but to even bigger extreme. Um, this is the Spanish-American Confederation, too. And for the most part, that's really it. It's impressive. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Yeah. Nice work. So basically, they won, and now they control the world. But, but of course, there have been some escalating tensions before, such as the Mediterranean Pact, which was formed by Spain, Italy, and Turkey when they, f when they decided to make a military pact. And it almost caused war. But then every, everything was resolved and now everyone's united. Sweet. That's it in a nutshell. There's a lot more complications, but that's it in a nutshell. Awesome.